Hi, this is Rachel from Free Scrapbooking Ideas and Videos.com, and I want to show you my photo journal. This is sort of what I use to scrap some everyday things that I know I'm not going to have time to do a full layout on, <clears throat> or that I just need to get done. Things that I want to preserve memories for, but I don't have time for the art form part. Um, but it was still fun to give it a little bit of embellishment here and there, but mostly it's photos journaling and memorabilia cards or you know things that my kids draw for me because those kind of things they hand me every day and if I just the, my, my other option would be to just stuff them in a drawer and tell myself I'll scrap them later and sometimes I might um, and I don't keep all of them but some of them I keep you know maybe one every now and then if I kept all of them I would drowned in them because my kids draw so much but anyways I'm just going to show you some of the things in here. It's just a really good old style scrapbooking and it helps me to feel like I've gotten things done. It obviously doesn't take as long as thinking through an entire layout. Um, so anyways, I call it a photo journal. It's really just an old style scrapbook. But you can see it's just got photos and journaling. And these are just um, wallet size photos. I really like those. You can fit so much more into a small space. Um, you know, or here you go. This is not a photo, but it's something I wanted to remember. And I, like I said, I'm not going to be able to create a nice artsy layout around every single thing. But this way I can still remember this. Um, anyways, there's some more good photos. So fun to look at these. And this was a fun way to do it too. It was a little more organized layout. Um, these were all from the same month. And then this was something my husband drew for me. I don't even remember. I think he must have. I don't know how he did that, actually. Anyways, um, some more stuff for my birthday. Scanned up some money that I got for my birthday. That's great. Um, okay, and then this was a list of things my husband made for me to order. So that was fun. You know, there there we go. It's just the, the real life stuff that I'm not going to take the time to do an artsy layout for, but I want to remember. And here's some stuff from December of that year. And there's some more. And then this type of thing, I really wanted to be able to save that. It was just a birth announcement. Um, but instead of putting it in the to-do pile, I just went ahead and put it in here, and it makes it fun. This was really fun. This was a... Um, something that my kindergartner wrote for me and it was his phonetical spellings so I wrote the true spellings under there so someday I could remember what he wrote and that's the same with this and he, here I didn't even put a photo but I just wrote something funny that my son said just to be able to remember that so let's see sort of a cross between a photo album scrapbook and a journal and here we go. This is a Transformer comic my son made. And a card that he made for me. Some more things there. So anyways, this is just a great idea. Oh yeah, and here I put all of our Christmas cards from this year. Um, that's fun because I know a lot of times they just end up getting thrown away. But that was a fun way to save those. Some more Christmas layouts. Christmas cards, I mean. Um, birthday cards, an important email, oh, my son's first kindergarten test slash quiz, um, just like fun things that I want to save. Here's a photo, my son got a digital camera in one of his first photos. So, save yourself some scrapbooking guilt and start a photo journal. And then you'll have some extra emotional energy to spend on some other artsy layouts. Um, but just for the real fun everyday stuff, a photo journal is a great option. I'll leave it out on my counter next to my um, place where I write down my kids' homeschool stuff that they do. And I just leave it there so that it's out um, and I can just easily tape stuff in there. So you can find other scrapbooking ideas, um, formal, artsy, creative, and plain like this at freescrapbookingideasandvideos.com. And that's um, with a, a dash between each word. Um, also, you might think about signing up for my e-zine. 
do that once a month and it has um, free scrapbooking layouts and other ideas that I've come across sometimes card layouts um, or you know greeting cards that have scrapbooking elements sometimes sketches sometimes just video updates um, so thanks a lot